Hello everyone, it's Christina with uh, Kelburn's Creations. Um, I figured out how to fix my boo-boo from the last segment. And I think it's going to work out just fine. I figured out what I did wrong was when I covered the back of these strips, I covered them all the way up. But when I went back to study some more tutorials, I noticed they had the edges like this covered. And then the along here... They give you, you have tape. So that when this folds down, it's actually sticking to this and not your very center. So we are going to try that now and see how it works. But yeah, I guess you don't want the actual. Uh, strip of uh, tape this close to your border. You, you you want to put it over here, and that way when it bends over, it makes its fold, and you don't have the adhesive on both sides, making it pulling it together like that. We don't want that. This right here area here should not have no adhesive. So we will give this a try. I'm gonna put one down here. and see how it turns out. One on that side, and one on this side. Let my finger go. Now for good measure, I want to make sure there is nothing sticky in between those pages like I did have. So I'm going to use my little static powder puff thing here. That way nothing in there is sticky. Okay, so we are going to pull this one here off and then the backing on this one I'm going to do a double border here to make it look like we plan or I planned on doing it this way So we want to line this edge right on the side. We want to bring that fold over just a little bit. Hopefully like that. I still have a little bit of my scale up here. Now I'm going to pull the backings off these ones. Now before you do that side, you want to make sure you have it partially bent inwards. and just come up into the center and close it. That way we've got a nice binding right there. That looks good. It's not pulling, not tearing. And now we will do the other side. this along this way and now we 
we're going to print this green one on the other side. Right along the edge here. And one on this edge here. Okay, we're going to take backing off this one here, and then on one side here, come on. So we've got the fold, oh, I hope you can see this here, hope oh, I can see it, how's that? Okay, so we are putting this fold right along this edge here, So we want this to be bent again. I'm going to take this off. Put that little end right there. We don't want that there. Put that off. Move this one off. And this one. Now remember, we want the book to be partially closed, enough so that we, if we need to, it won't be the skinny, but... And then just fold over the one side, and then push it up, and push it down. And then when I was playing around, trying to see how the looks would be, I thought maybe I should add this to it too. And that adds more of that color that I'm looking for, trying to bring in. So we're going to do the same thing with these. But I think I want my smaller tape here. And we are going to come down just a little bit here away from that middle. We don't want to be on this fold at all. And same on the other side. So I went ahead and I did a large tape here with a small one so there's no tape on this one. The tape that goes on this one will be this one here. So we're going to peel that backing off. That backing off. And this one. And again, we don't want no tape in this corner part here. So we're going to bring that fold and put it right onto that line there. Right up to that fold. Just like that. And then we're going to turn it over 
and do it again. Pull off the backing on all the tapes here. Keep it folded so it's inwards and then you want to push it over and rub it down. Start from the center and then push it over. And there you go. You can open it. No tears. This will end up getting a crease here real nice but it should not tear because of the tie back on this side. There's no way that's moving. So now I'm going to do the other side like that. I just thought it needed more than just a basic blue and a basic green. I wanted to bring that green out. So, couldn't make up my mind if I wanted to do the, I was going to go with the stripes, but I think the, uh, plaid look better with it. Let me see where's the stripe on it. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't have had a hard time making up my mind here. If I wanted to go with the stripes or the plaid. And I think with these being in a line and these being in a line, it just didn't do it justice. So we got a different turnaround on the look. this all the way down. <laughs> okay. And fold that this way. Oh. One more piece here. Wrong side. Just not cooperating with me today. So here we go, we have the fold, we're lining this edge up right along this fold edge here, where you can see the hinges. Right there. Right about there. Flip it over. These away. And we want to make sure that the book can close. And then you just fold it over. Rub it up and down. Give it a nice corner. And there we go. Problem is fixed. Looks all nice and pretty now. Make sure the tapes are down good. Yeah, see now it's now it's doing that fold like it's supposed to. Okay, so that part is done, I think, figured. It looks good, I believe. Um, let me get this right here. Oh, you're not even high enough. How about my Q-tips? Are you tall enough? Yeah, you're better. Okay, so now that I got that part figured, 
let me show you some of the stuff I picked up the other day. Because I really just don't feel like I had enough baby things on it. So I picked these here up at, um, it's called a Dollar Party. Uh, most of their items, if the items are not marked, they're a dollar. Everything else has a price on it. And I couldn't believe that I saw these baby stamps. We got a carriage, pacifier, um, bib, bottle. We got the stork. We got the word baby. We got a little flower floral pattern there for a dollar fifty. So I couldn't leave that behind. I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of it. I like this, but you know, I also wanted to use the tag. tag here too so I'm still working on the ideas and then plus I would have to color all these in too I wouldn't don't know if I'd use my marker or my pencils I haven't quite got my markers mar markers down pat yet so but I wanted to show you that and then I found some of these baby the blue don't match but I figured I could pull that green and that yellow in and save these ones for another photo Album. Mm, excuse me. Now uh, these I found there. It's the wrong blue, but I thought that would be so cute for some cards. And I still have to make him a card too. So, sweet baby nephew, lovely nephew, too cute for words. Uh, love my nephew. Got these little stars. Actually, I think I got punches that would make about that size of star too. So I could make some of those if I needed to. So there's that, but that's for the card, I don't know. And then this here, oh, this is for my uncle. He loves the Simpsons. Every time I see something Simpsons that I can afford it, I pick it up for him. Now this here, the paper, seems to match. You get the baby blue and the aqua. So I was thinking maybe something like putting this on and glue that down here somewhere with the flowers. Or maybe up here with the flowers. We'll have to do my our dry thing first before I get that far, I think. And then I went to Party City. I don't know if these are going to work or not. They're close. We'll have to see. I got some diaper pens. And then I got these plastic pa pacifiers. Anyway, that's the new stuff I brought into this idea. Throw that away. But I couldn't find baby bottles. I need baby bottles is what I wanted. So, so right now I'm deciding if I want this to be de deeper. And if I want to just use roses or if I should make some other smaller flowers for accents. Um... We'll just have to see. What I'm going to do now, though, is put that to the side. I even thought maybe print some of these buttons right in here. But I think those green ones would probably be neat. But what we're going to do now is open our album. I'll put that out of my way. And insert our pages. So, okay, remember I did a half an inch instead of the three eighths. I'm holding, hoping that will give me like a quarter inch for each page for the width so it's not so overloaded. 
So we're going to take the... Well, you weren't supposed to do that. that red tape up a little bit right in here so I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue if I can get it open there we go and I love the super fine tip on this but it just takes so long to squeeze that glue out let's pull this back to to where I did have it, right along there. There it comes. Hmm. And I'm shaking as usual. that down and what we're going to do get my coffee out of the way for one and we want to line this edge right here just before this crease it right here almost to the crease kind of center it from the top and the bottom and push it along and then of course I pulled it up a little bit over here too this over. I see you want to do the same thing. I don't want you to come up. I want you to stay down. I just want the back to cut up. Okay, and then this line right here, you want it to go right to the edge of this crease here without overlapping. So we're going to go right here to right here. And press it down. And fold this page over and press it down. We're going to do that with all of these pages. Hope everything's in focus. I keep moving it around here. Line it up here.
Things get really stubborn, I see. here and here push it down fold it over wow looks like I can put a lot more pages in huh inch, half inch is one, so there's one, two, three, and okay, I can fit one more in there, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to make another one of these pages and put it right here, maybe two more, <laughs> and then on the next video, we'll get started on decorating our pages and figuring out how I'm going to do my pages for this. I did do, because the first page I want to do, and they told us that she was pregnant and all. I told them I needed a picture, and I got a picture of her showing her belly. And then I found this piece. Oh, what did I do with it? And it's tricky over here. But I couldn't find it in the blues. So I attempted to kind of draw it out. She's got her hand down here, got the little hand here. It's not exact. And then I was thinking instead of having these little extras here, maybe having a flower or two down there or some type of squiggly thing. So. That's what I want for the first page in here, is a picture of her showing her belly off. And then they sent me a picture of um, my brother-in-law and the baby sleeping together. And I want to try to print that off and see if I can put him right here in the middle. And put his picture right there. So, <laughs> lots of ideas. But yeah, I wanted to show you how I fixed that real quick. Just in case you do it yourselves. And we will call it a day for today. Thank you.